Good afternoon, everyone. Eric here, Las Vegas Bus Sales. Again, thank you for your time checking us out. So I got James, my buddy James, behind the camera here. Check out this, man, This I'm digging this coach. This is a dandy. What we got here, 2004 Prevo H345. Or maybe if you were James, you'd say Prevost. But there's been a measure of debate here today regarding on how to pronounce uh, Prevo appropriately, right, James? Anyhow, but uh, if we were French Canadian, we'd probably say Prevo, but we're not, so we're going to call it a Prevo. Anyhow, H345, 45 footer. This is a 56 passenger. Oh, and it's also got a wheelchair lift, so let's check it out inside. Prevo H345, see here? I don't know if you bus guys probably already know this, but this stands for H is the model, 3 means 3 axle, 45 means 45 footer. How about it? All right, here we go. You ready, James? Check this out. Step treads showing a little bit of wear. See that there? Fair amount of wear, actually. Dual entry grab bars. Oh, look here. Third trifecta entry grab bars. All right. Check out the cockpit as we cruise inside here. Look at the driver's seat upholstery. Man, that thing's been recently recovered, I, I'm, I, would, I would venture to say. Looking pretty good. So, yeah. Pretty clean coach, inside and out. I think you'll agree once we once we get done doing this video. Check this out. The odometer says 801 on it, 801,000. And let's go over the switches here right quick. We think we got cruise control switches over here. Allison B500. Oh, can't go wrong with that, dude. Right? Allison Detroit combo power mirrors as well over here. Multiple light switches and stuff. Wipers. You know, you got high ride, low ride. Oh, look at that, Jake, right there. And then the look at that check that out power visors how about it i'm digging it there we go yeah high idle control and all your standard you know passenger courtesy lights and stuff rei video system here did we check that out james do you know if it works does not he says okay but don't let that bother you if that's important to you that is definitely something we can make happen all right cockpit looks pretty good and uh yeah, air horn here. <laughs> Love that, man. There we go. All right, check out the passenger seating. Pretty good condition. I am going to go out on a limb here and say I reckon these things have been done somewhat recently. A good indication is they do not match the headliner up here. So that tells me that they were done at some point. We've got national seating. These are reclining high back passenger seats with footrests in the back. Got, got some grab handles back here. That's pretty cool. You know what, they, the seats, man, they look pretty good. You are seeing, I can feel the the the, uh, the the headrest foams. Some of them, especially the aisle side, a little smashed down, but that's all right. They still look good, in good condition. I'm not seeing any rips or tears. Here, right over here, we I, I mentioned, I think I mentioned earlier, has a wheelchair lift. This is the wheelchair door, so this is gonna be a total of 56 passengers, or what did we figure out? 48 and two wheelchair capacity, so basically, these seats, the seat bottoms fold up, and then you can slide two rows forward, two rows back, and then that will accommodate two wheelchairs. Uh, old school tube style monitors here. And oh, check that out, James. Dual pane windows. So this would be awesome for like a cold weather bus up north, even a hot weather bus as well, like down here in the Vegas area. Yeah, dual pane windows. Awesome feature. Restroom here in the back, the lavatory. Ooh, flush toilet and sink, no less. How about it? Look at this overhead or enclosed overhead parcel racks. Emergency roof hatch. The floor looks pretty good in this thing. I'm not seeing any peeling up or any cracks in the flooring or anything like that. It's looking good. Yeah. AC vents coming down here in the overhead rack in the overhead parcel racks and you've got uh, two emergency exits to, to one to the back one to the front that was my demonstration of being on an airline i know that's pretty lousy but uh, anyways right james come on man throw me a bone bro all right here we go let's cruise around it outside windshield looks good driver's side windshield looks good and also well <laughs> we do have a handful of rock chips here on the passenger side in 2004 or no pardon me this is an 04 but in 2003 they went with the prevo 
started doing the newer front end. I don't know if you remember the old H345s, they actually had four windshields. This has got the more updated look. Really like that. All right, let's check it out outside. Overall, I've already been around this bus quite a bit. It looks pretty good. You are going to see some, I can see some scratch. Looks like somebody got into maybe a tree branch there or something on the, on the bonded windows. I love those bonded windows. Dual pane windows. Let's not forget that. Tire tread here up front. This thing's got, man, I'll tell you what, that's got a fair amount of tire tread on that one there. Here, check this out. Let's open up a few of these. Oh, goodness. There we go. Look at that. H345. I'll tell you what, there is not another coach out there that has this much square footage of, of storage, under four storage. Would you agree, James? Yes, he would, he says. You probably can't hear him because he doesn't have the microphone on him. He's a man of few words, you know what? So. <laughs> All right, check it out. So it's got four of these. I take that back. This bus, due to the wheelchair lift, it, this, this is only gonna have three storage bins. All right. Third one here, AC condensers and fans back here. Check this out, get a look at the, this right here, wheelchair lift, this is called a Rikon cassette style wheelchair lift. We checked it out, it does work. So, and then also there is a tray on top of this. See this? You can actually throw luggage on top of this tray, not from this side, but from the, from the driver's side entry over there. It's looking pretty clean inside and out, I haven't seen, it, 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 there's not not a rust condition on there it uh, outside of normal surface rust even I dare say that looks pretty good got a fair amount of tire tread here tag tire yeah leaves a little to be desired but all right but man body and paint looking pretty good I do see a little action up here see some scratching up there on the tail all right, let's get down to the business end of things. Check out the mill in this thing. How about it? Look at this. Dude, look at this. Detroit Diesel Series 60 12.7. It's an inline six cylinder. I'll tell you what, you can't go wrong. This married to an Allison B500. Need I say more, right? You bus guys know that though. All right, LED backup lights. Looks like clearance lights as well. I'll tell you what, the body's in pretty good shape, James. It really is. I'm seeing minor, and I mean minor, dings and scratches. Uh, about the same amount of tread on that tag tire. And Decent tread here on the rear drive tires as well. Oh, here, check this out. This is that other storage I was telling you about on the uh, on top of the Rikon. So you can actually, you know what, dude? Look, it, you can go all the way underneath there too. See that? So yeah, you own, you pert near got four store four luggage bays. Not as much as you would without the lift, but darn near. Body and paint looking pretty good. Again dual pane bonded windows I see a scratch up there on the windows but uh, I noticed I don't know if we noticed I didn't point it out when I was on the inside but also there was no windows that were fogged out due to moisture inside of them it uh, yeah I actually got it in the low ride right now it's looking a little low down on this side this we're kind of parked out on a on a slope right now so it uh, I put it put the I was playing with the kneel feature earlier so anyhow there we go Man, this thing looks good. Notice the new front end. Like I said, I think it was 03. They went to this newer front end, got rid of the four windows. But this, again, is an 04. 04. There's the 03 down there. Give them a look at that one down there. There's, there's Russ and Johnny Ringo. Say hi to those guys. Look at that. All right. 03 Prevo H345. Prevo, right, James? All right. I appreciate your time. Um, this, Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm really digging this bus. It looks good. 56 passenger h345 or 48 and 2 with the wheelchair feature so 2004 prevo appreciate your time and uh, check us out online lasvegasbussales.com give us a call 877-456-9804
appreciate your time. Thank you.